Welcome back to Harris Bridge in Union, South Carolina for the final round of the Mideast Racing and Bike Season. The track this morning is cool and tacky across a 10-mile run through the woods. The riders will have to contend with several challenges like the jump and hill climb through the next two hours. Up at the front, we're keeping our eyes on the top contenders for the overall today. In A Super Senior on the front row, Jason Gillian is back after his first appearance and overall win at the last round of Airport. The class champion, David James, is back and looking for another chance to sit in the center of the box and possibly take the overall championship today as well. Next to these two is A Masters champion, Patrick Tobin. We'll be keeping an eye on out on him as well. Gavin Guthrie sits a few rows back in C4 stroke lights as the class champion is looking for another win today. And finally, we have Jonathan Davis, who moved up a few rows after winning the championship in C Junior and will be taking off today in C4 stroke heavy. We'll also be keeping an eye out on the Grand National WXC riders Preston Reigns, making her second appearance in the women's AB class this season. The final row in this race is looking to lock a class championship today as C Senior between Aaron Ringer and Eddie Duff. Aaron Ringer currently leads, and for Eddie Duff to take it home, he'll have to win and place at least four positions ahead of Aaron. Who's winning the, the Tobin DJ today? Oh, uh, uh, that's going to be a tough one. I see each other knocking each other down. And then Gavin is shooting the gap in the middle. Gavin's going to get the king getting both of them. About Preston? First you changed to a two-stroke. Now you're growing a beard. What's the next change, man? I'm just aging out. <laughs> How comes down to this, man? You got the class locked up, looking for the overall now, right? Yeah, uh, it's going to be a struggle, but all we can do is hope and maybe a little bit of luck will be on our side and we can get it done, but we don't know. How are you feeling today? Good. Cold, but good. <laughs> yeah, we've been trying to get a lady on the uh, podium of this race all season. You think you can get it done today? I'm hoping so. Came here, fired up, ready. <laughs> hey, yeah, well, good luck today. Thank you. It's coming down to this, man. Oh, uh, no, man. How you feeling? Ah, right, good, good, good. I just got to do it do, do here and ride like I did the first race. Hey, yeah, well, good luck today, man. You hit a down there. Absolutely. <laughs> good luck Appreciate today, it, man. man. You're the last championship to be decided today, man. Really? Yep. Coming down to the wire between you and Eddie. I'm looking forward to it. Just going to go out. battle out there, right? Yep. Just got to go out there and find my groove. All eyes are on Ricky Tower as the call goes out for 10 seconds. As the green flag goes up, the battle for the first corner starts between David James, Preston Reigns, Jason Gillian, and Josh Yeatman. Jason slips through the middle, taking the second corner and the whole shot. David James would drop back into third place, and Preston Reigns would start out in sixth. Patrick Tobin would start all the way back into ninth place. Back with C4 stroke lights, Gavin Guthrie got a blazing start, battling out with newcomer Jay Dole. Jay would take the whole shot with Gavin hot on his heels. One row later and C4 stroke heavy takes off with Jonathan Davis getting a slow start, beginning the lap in 7th place in the class. Through the first lap, Jason Gillian continued to lead, pulling more than a minute behind him to David James. 
Gavin Guthrie would be in third place on adjusted time by under 30 seconds. Preston Reigns, Mac Reed, and Patrick Tobin would be right behind them, just six seconds apart. And about 30 seconds later was Jonathan Davis looking to catch up. Back in C Senior, Eddie Duff and Aaron Ringer started out nearly side by side battling for fourth. That wouldn't last long, though. Eddie Duff would make a huge push to take the lead to start battling with Sergio Salza. Aaron Ringer was less than 10 seconds behind them in third place. Through the middle laps of the five-lap race, Jason Gilling continued to run away from the rest of the field, putting four and a half minutes between him and the rest of the pack when he would see the white flag. On lap three, Gavin Guthrie took second place away from David James and held it until the last lap. Two seconds behind David James on adjusted time will be Jonathan Davis taking fourth place, followed by Preston Reigns, Mac Reed, and Patrick Tobin. Back with C Senior, Eddie Duff continued to battle with Sergio Salazar, dropping back to second on lap two. He was over 30 seconds behind on the white flag. Aaron Ringer would continue to hold third place, dropping back to more than a minute and a half behind him when he would see the white flag. Screaming through the final couple corners with a huge lead would come Jason Gillian, with nearly a five-minute lead ahead of Gavin Guthrie on adjusted time. Bringing up third and running out your podium would come Jonathan Davis, finishing 30 seconds ahead of David James on adjusted time. Preston Reigns would end up losing her fifth-place position to Mac Reed by less than a second on the final lap. Patrick Tobin will finish in 8th place behind Dusty Miller and Schoolboy Novice. David James' position also helped him achieve his goal in the year, lock in another overall championship this season and get another jacket. Well, I got my jacket this 2019, and uh, Harwell got his last year, and Tobin got his this year, and uh, so it's time to make another turn and get mine back. Bringing home the win for the C Senior class will come Eddie Duff, making the pass on Sergio Salas on the last lap and winning by less than a half a second. Aaron Ringer would end up finishing third nearly two and a half minutes later. Fortunately for him, his placement was enough to lock the 2022 championship. And last round, we missed the lock-in for the Patriot class with Sean Stockhouse. We'd like to congratulate him and his family as well for another good season. How was the race today, man? Uh, it was good. It was a real good track out there. Another day in the park. Just oh, cruising along, right? Yeah, yeah. What was the best part? I like the hill climbs out there Buren put in. That was good. Okay, man. So what's the secret to it? You're on 125 to beat the guys on all these big bikes? It ain't the motorcycle. Hey, y'all got it to the end. Congrats to both y'all. You got the yeah. job done today. You got it done on the year. Yeah. How yeah. yeah. was the season, man? So I'm not sure what happened. Uh, how was the season? It was good. It was good, man. You know, we went back and forth there for a little. I was up front until Shelby racing, and then he got ahead. And I didn't ask if I could have beat him last race. It would have been good for me. And then the win this one. But hey, 
We had fun, that's all that matters. Thank you, how was your that's season, racing. man? We had fun. I'm thankful to come out ahead. Um, I love racing with these guys. Had a good year. That's awesome. Happy Congrats, and, uh, can't wait to see y'all next year, guys. Thank right. you. This marks the end of the 2022 Middies Hair Scramble and Bike season. We hope you enjoyed our race coverage throughout the year and wish you all a happy holidays. And as always, thank you for watching.